Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Battletech. The ship's getting better, I'm getting worse, that's how it is. The cold got me, and it got me bad. But we're taking someone else up, the raiding party. We have detected an inbound dropship belonging to the Oregon Directorate. Our local defense forces in the expected drop area are ill-equipped to handle a lance of mechs. But with your aid, we can ensure that raid does minimal damage to us, they want to say, not to me. We would like you to intercept the Directorate lance and destroy it. Commander, the Directorate wouldn't send a dropship if they didn't mean business. So if we take the job, we would stay allowed down there. Oh, I thought we were going for a picnic. So, we take maximum loot because there is the chance that there are good mechs there. And we'll switch the pilots because we have Master Tactician now, which means our Grasshopper as a heavy can actually act as a medium now. And our medium, Kintaro, can act as a light in terms of initiative. So, yeah, we ignore that and we'll see each other on the field. And here we go. So, we might not be an assault lance out of assault mechs, but we fight like them. We go close up and personal. The enemy dropship landed somewhere in this area, Commander. Acquire the location and engage them. Let's put a stop to their raid. Okay, sir, we will. Um, actually, what I was hoping for is another Griffin. Griffin would be cool. Uh, I would accept... Uh, actually, only a Griffin is useful. The rest is, is crap. The rest would not help us. So we go forward as fast as we can. Because we want to close to the enemy as fast as possible. A 50 ton mech? No problemo. And a, ooh, a 70 ton mech. Now what could that be? Good to go. Uh, do I already want to jump? Yes, I do. We need to go close up. 70 ton. Could be a cataphract? Could be... Um, could be. This is an enforcer that is useless to us. We don't like enforcers even a little. Can we jump in his back? Because then his little trick pony will not work on us. He's got entrenched, but entrenched doesn't work if you're in the back of an enemy. Say hello to a lot of long ranged fire, my friend. Ooh, heatsink, not very useful. Okay, uh, anyone else who can... Oh yeah, you're far, far away. Could fire the large laser at you, but... Let's be honest, that would not do a lot. Well, before we do nothing, we do that. Why do they only have two mechs? That is something I do not understand. Oh, look at that. We can fire them in the back with everything. Now, isn't that fun? We have to destroy this mech anyway completely because it's useless for our purposes. It's too slow. Uh, I did no damage, honestly. Uh-oh. Uh oh, oh 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 oh! This is not good. But there are only two enemy mechs, so that's okay with me. Oh screw me! Well, this is um, a thunderbolt. That's for guaranteed because the enemy has only fired mm -hmm. ten LRMs. That means he's a thunderbolt. If we were everything else than a thunderbolt, um, he would have fired more. Yeah, we need to do it this way, because otherwise we're getting too hot. And the Kintaro is not built for close combat damage. He's built for medium combat damage. A medium range damage, that is. Okay, you're as good as dead. There is no way you can survive that, because... Um, yeah, down you go. Thank you, sir. Now it's between us and the Grasshopper. I'm not saying this will be a walk in the park, because it sure as hell will not be. But, um... 
if we can he's a he's an energy mech and crossover is basically a pure energy mech he has got one lr and five that is totally out of place if you ask me most people do not even replace the ammunition when you play the tabletop game if you run dry because uh, you're reducing the the chance that you simply blow up you know what yeah. you will jump first uh, but we couldn't jump close enough to really flamer him this turn but we've got a lot of evasion, so that is fine with me. Okay, as sad as this is, flamering him now will not help us any. So what we should actually do is try to hit him with the LRMs. Don't forget, this is a 70-ton mech, so he packs a lot of punch. Question is what he's up to. Normally he's a brawler. He's good as at Ouch. That wasn't particularly nice of you. Oh crap, he's shooting me in the back. Damn you. Damn you to hell. Decker. Well, some additional stability damage is always welcome. Just give him all your love. Oh yeah, that hurt. Yep. Excellent. Can you please punch him? Simply punch him with all you have. Light arm destroyed. You get flamed a lot. You get heat, you get a knockdown. Pilot injured, I actually should not shoot you anymore. Waiting for order. Oh, I should shoot your leg, should I not? Um, actually, no. No, no, I don't want to shoot you anymore. I want to go after this guy down there. Got See it. what it is. It is a, a, th a Thunderbolt, for sure. Yeah, obviously Thunderbolt. Uh, chances of hitting are 80%. I don't want to hit the grasshopper at this stage because I might um, destroy him and I don't want that. I want to uh, send him on the ground again. The Thunderbolt SE version is the good version if you ask me because that's the fast version. Um. Can we walk down there and punch him? Oh, he's getting up. And he's still hot. You're kidding me. Did you just hit me in close combat? You're freaking insane. You must be insane. Deactivate the lasers. One or seven. Can I fire a laser? No, I cannot. Didn't even blow the arm off. Okay, you asked for it. You get it. Light torso destroyed, pilot injured, you're getting a lot of heat again. Oh, so you're just unsteady, huh? So then I will hit you again. 
and flamey you again. <coughs> Oh yeah. Yeah, the pilot is out. Now all that is left is the guy down there. Question is, he's not that hot. He's got a lot of medium lasers. Um tell you what I do. I will go here. I cannot fire a lot of weapons though. You betcha. We activate vigilance to reduce the incoming damage. And then I shoot you. Please come up. What are you doing? You're mentally retarded, right? You're insane. I bet I cannot fire a single weapon at you because I'm too hot. Obviously I will be. Okay, I can fire one weapon at you. Uh, evasion, that doesn't help me. Okay. Um, we're hot and we're damaged. So actually, we activate that again. And then we punch you. Really, really hard. Back. and hope that our friends will come to our aid. He is close to falling, right? Right. So a little bit loving with the LRM-20 will actually get him on his knees. Hopefully. Knocked down. Thank you, sir. Medusa. Jump to the rhythm. Oh yeah, that's that'll be a lot of pain coming for you there, man. Um, what is in what? Medium laser, medium laser, LRM-10. Heat sink, heat sink. What is in that arm? Large laser. Okay, excellent choice. Can I have that on top? Oh, yes, I can. Oh, yeah. How do you feel, my friend? And now you're getting punched a lot. Hey, we're getting outflanked. You're telling me you're firing weapons. Although you're that hot. Yes, Commander. Okay. On my way. You're in rough terrain, you know that. I think you know. Can I have one more? Yes. Can I have two more? No. So that must be enough. Oh. Yeah. I bet that hurt. Good to go. Um. I could hit you, but then I'm in unstable terrain as well. Yeah, but we don't care because we can take it and you cannot. Moving to position. How about falling down? Hmm? Can you do that for Papa? 
No, he's just unsteady. All he needs is a little tip. And we'll give him just that. Knocked down, and he's nearly in pristine condition. Well, except for one of Tor's Tor suicides. The pilot is injured again, but he's still active. Now, that is a shame. What we need to do is we need to destroy that torso side. <coughs> oh boy, am I ill. Give him everything. Here it comes. Oh crap. Sorry. Wasn't actually up for that. Good job, Commander. Well, it wasn't that good job, because... We only got one mech, if I'm not wrong. But it's a grasshopper, though, so it's okay again, I guess. So, next, please. No injuries, a lot of experience, excellent work. We got a grasshopper, which is great. Actually, that mech is as great, because it's a thunderbolt. However, this one here has more close combat weapons uh, no other specials so that's a shame medium laser pluses but we're not into the medium laser business anyway what do we get the thunderbolt and the enforcer parts useless for us sad as it is sad as it is question is don't fooled by his whimsical name the grasshopper is a killer that's specializing in hunting down light and medium max oh we just hunted down another grasshopper and that's a heavy it's superb jump ability and good armor allowed to get behind enemy foes and easily bring down his weapons to bear um the shadow hawk will go to storage store i want to buy some flamers Six of them to be precise. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, Mac Bay. Let's have a look. You are the one that needs a refit, right? Actually, the Griffins need a refit as well, but um, the Grasshopper. So, um, the medium laser out, medium laser out, the LRM out, LRM out, medium laser out, medium laser out, large laser out. Heat sink, heat sink, heat sink, heat sink, and heat sink. I want in. Uh, the PPC in one arm. I want flamers. A lot of flamers. I want so many flamers it will burn the hell out of everyone. Are oh, we in terms of tonnage? We're okay. Uh, more flamers. So we have six flamers and we have the PPC. Isn't that beautiful? We could go for more medium lasers just to be on the lasering side, or we increase the armor all around the mech. Um, the PPC does 50 damage, 40 heat, but we're dissipating a lot of heat though. We dissipate 30 heat um, as general, and then how much heat does that thing do? 40 so this is 9 so even if we jump we'll stay cool we don't need that many heat sinks question is what do we put in for the heat sinks we could go for two PPCs actually 
If we throw all that out, we would be able to install two PPCs, I guess. But then we'll be running really, really hot. But we only need to run as hot until we reach the enemy. Let's just think of that for a moment. We can even put in one more heat sink. How long to build this wonder? 14 days. But it's worth a shot. Two PPCs. And, um, yeah, I, I really like the idea of this. Confirm. 14 days. Okay, you have to be refitted, right? You need an LRM-20. Out with the lasers. In with the LRM-20. Out with the heat sinks. Yeah, how long? Six days. So we're over one day, right? That's not perfect, but it's okay with me. Too many heat sinks for the moment. Good, then we run cold. Twenty days. Let's go to the engineering. No, nothing we can do. Let's go to the barracks. See if we can do something about the training as well. Uh, you're not ready to get that now. You have the tactician. We confirm that. We'll have that in no time. Good. Um, there is nothing we can buy at this point, right? And no one we can hire. Because, obviously, I really want to have this Archlight. She has everything we can dream of. She has evasive movement. She has sensor log. She has master technician. That is the best we can get. We could do a story mission, but actually I want to go to take the bait. Because that's a battle. It's in the Badlands. It is everything we want. And we've already been to Luriton. So, we want maximum salvage rights, and we're off to go. When we do the next storyline mission, Panther, we will be ready to do it. Okay. Are we getting low on payment? Let's look at the finances. Yeah, we're still good. Everything's fine. I've got the financial report. We're okay. We take maximum. Because we have it. Because we have it, that's the point. We're almost completely out of cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power search in the Mac Bay. Oh boy. While you're inspecting a grasshopper and intense power search ripples through the cavernous mech bay from the top of Grand Level of Younger Holist, its mech takes repair, tool spot wildly, cables and lifts spasm, and a barrel of something oily looking inacceptably combust. Scanning away your help, you find a master control pedal, a massive emergency shut off backup beacons, as well as a number of instrumental switches. Okay. No lasting consequences. Who, with a bang of your bolt up fist on the control panel, the blinking light stops urgently and then settles into a solid, reassuring glow. Immediately, a number of safety systems spring into action between the automated systems and the coordinated efforts of young Matex, threatening the disaster. A, a threatening disaster is averted. With the widening grin on his face, Young calls you down. That's how we handle things here, boss. If you don't. If only the term automated would mean always on, I'd be a lot happier. He thinks for a... Would mean always on. He thinks for a moment, you know. There are more improvements to the automation of the Argo. We could pursue if we had the sea builds. Yeah, well. Same here. 
we are on the drop ship, which is nice. I think we sell some smaller mechs. We have a lot of mechs at bay that we can sell. So that's fine with me, I guess. Here we go. Lifting off, sir. Yeah, stop talking. We got this. Oh, maybe we don't because I cannot, may not be able to buy the ship upgrades I want. The Argo upgrade is complete. Nice work, lady. The training pots. 15 days. Get me that. Wonderful. And here we are. And we'll not launch immediately. We'll wait one day. Not yet. Because with one day passed, everything is ready. Let's go to the hiring hall. Let's see what they have. They have... The head. And they have... Oh, boy, you're miserable. Honestly, indeed, Ed, son of a diplomat, saber cat. Well, a lot of tactics, though. Let's look at the store. Okay, we sell the blackjack, we sell the centurion. We sell the commando. We sell the enforcer. We sell the fire starter. We sell the Jaeger mech. We don't sell the Kintaro, we sell the locust. Um, the vindicators are not useful to us. Let's sell them as well. We keep the rest for now. Oh, an AC20++. Plus plus. That's a big... Oh, and... Oh, yeah. I definitely want to buy that. And a PPC++. Plus plus. I definitely want to buy that. Small lasers, SRM6s. Sadly, no bonus equipment. That's a shame. That's a shame. The AC20++, plus plus, that sounds like a killer. Plus four accuracy. Okay, uh, let's go to the barracks. We should have gotten some experience from traveling. I don't think it's enough. No, it's not. You could actually go for more guts. Or you could go for one max evasion. Uh, I'm not sure what this two will give us. But plus one max evasion actually sounds pretty good. So let's take that. And one life point. So you... Ah, oh, crap. Uh, we could get that recall penalty. We're not using that kind of weapon -y, and we need the other evasion thing. So that's fine with me. So let's see each other next time. Bye.